In this video, I will show you how to use Excel offset function to create a dynamic drop down list. We can also create a dynamic drop down list using an Excel table, which I will cover in another video. So I will start with offset function basics. So this is my data. This is my reference cell. And these are the formulae which I will explain. So, so I will copy the formula from cell A4 to cell B2 by giving an equal to and then copy paste. It says offset D3. So the offset's first argument is the reference cell. The second one is number of rows to be offset. And the third parameter is number of columns to be offset. So it says from reference cell, this D3 offset one row. That means one row is here in 88 and offset zero column. So no columns to offset. So it should return 88. Let us see. When I press enter, it returned 88. So what it does is that it starts from D3. So I will click on reference cell D3. It says offset by one row. So one row and zero column. So, so if it was one column, I would have moved to cell E4. So let us go to the next offset function. I will copy this and I will type equal to and paste it. Now it says that from the reference cell, zero rows offset and zero column offset. So what does that mean? Don't offset, stay in the reference cell. So reference cell, no rows to offset and no column to offset. So stay in, it will return the reference cell itself. So if I press enter, it returns the value in cell D3 itself. Let's copy the next formula. Now it says from reference cell D3, offset one row and one column. So from reference cell, offset one row and then one column. So it will return 52. So let's press enter. So it what it does is that from reference cell, it offset one row, then it offsets one column. So it moved from D3 to E4. So that's why it printed 52. Let's see what this offset function does. So it says offset D3, two rows offset and one column offset. So I'm reference the cell, you go to 88 and 88 and then move one column. So it should return 77. See, what it does is that from reference cell, it will go down two rows and then move one column. So it returns 77. So I'll copy the last formula here. So what it does from reference cell, it moves two rows and then two columns. So it should return six. Say so like it went two rows offset and two columns offset. So from here it travels down like this to cell F5. So it returns six. Now I will show you two more parameters in offset function. So I'll copy this formula. Paste it here. So it will return 88. So I will edit this formula. There is a height and width whose default values are 1. So if I don't mention height or width, the default values 1 will be assumed. So even if I don't mention height and width, which are optional parameters, it will assume as 1. So that means after doing all the offsets, the return data range height and width we have to specify. So 1, 1 means wherever the offset target is there, return that cell. So one cell height and one cell width. But suppose if I return height as 5, height is this. So 88, 8, 26, 16, 2. So height as 5 and width as 4. So I am going to give a height as 5 cells, width as 4 cells. Let us see what it does. I will print the formula here. So you can see the formula here. So from cell, reference cell, offsetting 1 row, 0 column. So I will be in cell D4 where it has value 88. So from here, 
what the formula says return a range with height 5 height 5 means this is 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 and 4 so it returned this range i can rewrite this formula to make reference cell as b4 let's start from 88 and change one row of set to 0 so it says that b in d4 start from d4 offset 0 row and 0 column means stay in d4 and then return the range with height 5 and width 4 so and it returns the same so instead of starting from a cell above it i will start from the first cell in this range now i will show you how to create a drop down list using offset function so i will create a drop down list showing list of customer names so before that i have to count the number of customers in this list so i will use the function count day so count day counts non blank cells in the given range so i am going to give a range count day from here down the list row 41 which includes blank cells but it won't count this blank cells it will count only up to row 29 so i'll close the bracket before closing the bracket i will give absolute reference for both so i close the bracket press enter so we have 28 customers in this list unique customers in this list so i will type an offset formula in cell f2 so i will i will type equal to i will use offset command so reference reference i will give as abc limited i will give absolute reference by pressing function key f4 then i will put comma offset how many rows zero rows a comma zero columns means don't offset anything stay in cell b2 itself that's what i am telling but return a range with height 28 so i'll hard code this 28 here 28 comma and width of one because i need only this customer name so width is one cell so one cell. let us see what it prints i close the bracket see it replicated the same list here up to x1 mobile so i will try to add one more customer here xyz limited but it didn't get replicated here the reason is in the offset command i have used this hard coded value of 28 whereas when i added one the count day increased from 28 to 29 so what i am going to do is i'll copy this count day formula copy this and replace the hard coded value 28 with the count day form and see what happens. So now it has printed XYZ limited. So I will add one more company DEF limited. Now it added DEF limited here also. So now it has become a dynamic list this using offset. But my objective is to create a dynamic drop down list. So I will copy this offset formula. and i will create a named range for that i will click on formulas tab so click on formula tab so i click on name manager in defined names i will click on new button here and i will create a new defined name customers so i will replace this entry with the copied offset formula so the offset formula is I have copied from that location. So I'll click OK. So let us see what this offset is returning. So I'll click on this. So it is pointing to this range D up to DEF limited. So this is the named range I created using the same offset uh, function. I'll close this. So now I will delete this formula in cell F2. And now I'll go to data tab here on top. 
data tab under data tools there is a data validation drop down click on that click on data validation and in the allow drop down instead of any value select list and in the source type equal to and specify the new name range which i created to see all the name range in this workbook press function key f3 so i pressed f3 so it listed all i have only one name so i click on customers i clicked ok i clicked ok button so now let us see the whether the drop down has come so so it has created a drop down so up to def limited so i can select any value from here so now i will delete bf limited and see whether it got deleted from here so there is no def and i delete xyz so that also will get removed from the list and let us say pqr limited let us see whether it shows pqr yes it is showing pqr limited this is how you create a dynamic drop down list now i will show you how to create a dynamic range of data which can be used in vlookup functions so here in this data sheet i have all the customer codes so i will be creating a vlookup function here to retrieve the customer name by giving customer code as input i will pull the information from this list which has customer code and customer name we have earlier created a named range for just customer names now i am going to create a named range for this data range which includes both customer code and customer name which will be used in the vlookup function so so i will click on this first entry of customer code i will click on formulas tab click on name manager you see the already existing customers i click on new so i'll give name as cust details so i will enclose this in an offset cut from a2 a2 which is currently selected from a2 offset zero rows zero columns means stay in cell a2 but return a data range with height like count a so i will use this i will extend it up to 41 count a means count non blank it is similar to the formula which we created in the previous step and so that means it will have a height of 28 and comma and earlier we returned one means now i will specify two as the width of the return data range so earlier we gave, gave only one when i had to return just the customer names so now i started with customer code now i am returning data range with height equal to the count of customers but a width of 2 so that it will include customer code as well as customer name so that is why i have specified 2 here so i'll close this bracket we'll click okay so let us see what it points to so now it selected up to x1 mobile close it so let me add one more customer now cust 029 i'll say pqr limited let's see whether the cust details got this new entry we we'll go to formulas name manager cust details so now it selected the newly added pqr limited also so this has become a dynamic data range so i use the same offset function but returning two and the reference is the first cell 
in the customer code column. So I'll use this cache details in my VLOOKUP function. So I'll go back to the original sheet. So here I am going to type a VLOOKUP function, VLOOKUP. I'll give this customer code as lookup value. Table array. In table array, I will give the name range which I created now. So for that, press function key F3 to list all the named ranges in this workbook. So I am I'm selecting cust details which I created now. So cust details and return the second column and I want to do an exact match. False. Close it. So it returned trio software. So now I will copy this formula to the entire data range. Double click. So it copied all the formula down till the. So now in the list, I will add one more value. UVW limited and I will update customer code to 030. Just wanted to check whether the dynamic range is working. So now it picked up UVW limited, which was added just now. See, so that is how the dynamic range works. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this video. Please click on like button if you find the information I shared useful and update comments. Also, please subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos which I will post in future.